Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the basic usage of the First Social Tab Builder 2.0. Now, if you're looking to create a fan page very quick, the simplest way to get started is to go over here on the left and click the Templates button. So, let's go ahead and select the template. We're going to pick the first template here. And it'll load in our Canvas area. Now, editing a template with the tab builder is super easy it's all drag and drop you just grab it and move it where you want it same thing with the resize you'll see in the lower right hand corner here there's a drag handle when we mouse over it you can see how the cursor changes and with this we can resize whatever we want to change a particular widget's options all you have to do is right click on it and you'll get a pop-up that's specific to each widget that allow you to change its options so for example if we want to change this uh, buttons colors we'll go ahead and make the background yellow and we'll make the text black Now if you don't want to use a template, you can go ahead and use our design widgets up top here to create your own design. It's real simple. Again, it's just drag and drop. So if you want to add an image, you can just grab it and drag the image widget in and drop it wherever you want. Same thing with all the widgets, the YouTube. We have an iframe widget here, so you can iframe in a part of your website or your entire website. And of course, this is also drag and resize and drag and drop. One thing that this particular tab builder has that other ones don't, as far as I know, is we have a free clip art library for our users. Uh, we realize that not everybody out there is a designer. Not everybody is going to have graphics already to use. So we give you some clip arts. Just drag the clip art widget in. Select the clip art you want. Uh, if you want to have a sales tag, there it is there. Uh, we have a whole bunch of them. I like the gradients for a background. So I'm going to choose the yellow gradient. I'm going to add the clip art in there. I'll resize it to where I want. And there you go. Now I have a background color gradient for my fan page tab. I can go ahead and add my other widgets. Uh, I'll put in a Facebook comment. Let's put it in down in there. And as you can see, as you scroll, you can see how your widgets all and your controls all stay fixed. So it's always easy to access them. Let's put in a share box as well. So let's go ahead and add a YouTube video. Position it where we want. Uh, let's go ahead and resize it. We're going to want to add a logo, so we'll get the image widget here, drag it down, drop it, and add our logo. Now you can make a graphic a link if you want. We're not going to have the logo link, but if you wanted to, you could also make the, the logo link to your, fit, your website or wherever you want. Uh, you can actually do that with all the images. We'll just upload it for now. Uh, resize it to fit in our design. And last, we're going to want to add some text. So we'll just go ahead and put in a text box. And the text box is full WYSIWYG editor. You just enter your text. I'm just going to go ahead and enter in some sample text. And let's make the font 
little bigger. And let's make it bold. Size it. And there you go. That quick and easy, we were able to create a custom fan page in just a few seconds. Uh, obviously, you can. The, the sky is the limit. You can make it as complex or as simple as you want just by adding widgets. You can go ahead and add your custom graphics if you have them. If not, you can just use our our graphics that we provide you, or you can use a template. Another really cool feature that I want to show you, and I believe that, again that this is unique to the first social tab builder, is the fan gating. Now I know what you're going to say. Everybody has fan gating, and you're right. Everybody does have fan gating, and everybody has a button to turn fan gating on and off. But First Social's fan gating isn't like other people's fan gating. Just about every other service, at least every service that I've encountered, always uses fan gating the same way. You upload a graphic, and then that graphic shows to potential fans before they click the like button. Once they click the like button, then it shows them your main page. And this is great if, you, if, if a graphic is all you need. But what if you want to have a video? Or what if you want to have an opt-in form? Or what if you want to iframe in a little bit of your website and you want to show this stuff to people before they like your page in order to entice them to click the like button. Well, a graphic isn't going to cut it. Uh, so what we did here at First Social is we designed our fan gating to use the widgets. So you can actually build your fan gate just like you do your main page with the widgets, fully customizable, fully flexible. If you want a simple graphic, use the image widget and just upload your graphic but if you want a YouTube video or you want any of the other widgets go ahead and build a fan gate that's functional so that's a real quick look at the first social tab builder just a general overview the best way to actually learn about it is to try it for yourself if you have any questions we're always here to help feel free to click the contact button below or on the right hand side of your screen and we will get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you and enjoy.